How do constraints work? Constraints allow you to write rules for the allowable values in columns and enforce the integrity of the data. As you can see, there are two types of constraints in the format of a create table statement. A column constraint is in the column definition and sets conditions only on the value in this column. A column constraint does not have an explicit constraint name and cannot apply to more than one column. The database management system assigns a column constraint name consisting of random characters and numbers. A table constraint is defined separately from the column definition and can set conditions on one or many columns in the table. Only table constraints have constraint names, but a column constraint, or one column, can be stated as a table constraint and given a name. This allows you to alter or drop the constraint by name. Many company standards only allow named table constraints, not column constraints, so that the constraint can be identified in warning and error messages. The exception is not null, which is nearly always an unnamed column constraint. A primary key can be defined as a column constraint if it is one column or a table constraint. Please pause this presentation to study the details. We hope you found this information useful. Please come visit us at ComputerBasedTrainingInc.com for courses with more examples and labs where you create and execute complete commands.